also just letting you know the rest of these movies are most likely going to be horror movies because I'm a really big horror fan, so be prepared. Another amazing horror trilogy is Fear Street, which is definitely not that scary, but it is so, so good. I think it's better than The Conjuring. Sorry, but it is. It is so good. Um, my favorite is the second one, so I'm going to give a description of, like, basically the whole thing, but basically what happens is a girl named D Dina and her girlfriend Sam. Okay, hold on. That is not a description. What the fuck? Okay, basically, um, her girlfriend Sam gets possessed and they don't know what's going on. And when they look into it, it turns out that dead killers are coming after them, like killers in the past, because they live in a town and every year one innocent person turns into a killer and the trilogy basically each movie explains deeper and deeper why this is happening and the second one is about a summer camp and you know one of the people turn into a killer and then it just basically gives like exactly what the killer does um i did a horrible explanation i suck at those um and there is a huge plot twist at the end when you find out who's starting this but it's such a such a, such a freaking good trilogy. Definitely watch it. The second one is God Dear. The other two are good. Really good trilogy. I lost count and forgot what number I'm on, so I'm gonna do like two more. Sorry. Okay, the next movie is Ready or Not, which is um yet another horror movie. Surprise, surprise. Um basically it's about a girl who's marrying a guy she's going to meet his family like right before the marriage and the family basically proposes that anytime someone wants to get married into the family they have to play a game first so they have like a deck of cards or whatever and she gets to pick the game but she doesn't know what game it is and all of the games are normal except one if she picks that certain game then you know game over for her but um she ends up picking that game which is hide and seek so basically she has to hide from the entire family while th they all go and try to kill her and if they don't kill her i guess like all of them die i don't know it's a really good movie though and it has some amazing comedy it's really funny so definitely a must watch it's super good the next one isn't exactly a movie but it's from the series black mirror which each episode is basically its own movie it's on Netflix, it's really good, but basically the episode I'm talking about is White Bear, and basically a girl wakes up and she doesn't, like, remember anything that's happening to her, and when she goes outside, nobody, like, everybody refuses to talk to her, and everyone just records her, but they refuse to talk to her, so she's in, like, kind of this loop, I guess, and she meets these two people who will actually talk to her, and then she finds out that other people are hunting her, like, trying to kill her. And basically, that goes on for, like, a little bit. And then there is a huge, 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 huge plot twist um, about basically why this is happening to her and why everybody's ignoring her and why people are hunting her down. And the plot twist just explains why that's all happening to her. And it is so good. The plot twist is chef's kiss but yeah that's where i'm gonna end this video off because i lost count and also i can't think of any more movies um those are like my top 10 all the other movies i watched 